Four people are recovering this morning after a shooting last night in the Bronx. It's the latest of several shootings in the city over the weekend. Let's get right to Fox 5's Robert Moses. He joins us in the area where one of those shootings took place, or several, Mount Hope section of the Bronx with the latest. Good morning, Robert. Tashani and Dan, good morning to you. I was speaking to a woman who lives on this block, the same block where the shooting happened, and she told me that it hits uncomfortably close to home, especially because she fears for the safety of her nine-year-old daughter. This morning, police say they continue to look for the shooter or shooters who shot four people, including a 12-year-old girl last night on East Burn Avenue, just off the Grand Concourse in Mount Hope. Police say the 12-year-old was hit in her shoulder, a 35-year-old woman was shot in her right foot, a 23-year-old man was struck in his right thigh, and a 22-year-old man was shot in the toe. All are expected to make full recoveries. I feel terrified because I've been here 12 years and this is the first time that I've seen something like this. I have a nine-year-old. The quadruple shooting punctuated a violent first part of the long holiday weekend. On Saturday night, inside Riverbank State Park in Hamilton Heights, police say a gunman shot a 15-year-old boy multiple times. He died from his injuries. Authorities say they have not yet made any arrests. And on Friday night, in the Norwood section of the Bronx, just after 7, police say a stray bullet hit a 5-year-old girl in this beige Nissan during a vigil for a man who was shot and killed the day before. The acting police commissioner, Ed Caban, visited the girl and her parents at Children's Hospital at Montefiore yesterday, where she continues her recovery. I have children of my own, and I know how I would feel if something happened to my children. I think any parent could relate to that. So I'm here first and foremost as a parent to show support. Caban said the girl, whom he identified as Samaya, is in good spirits, smiling even. The NYPD's chief of patrol confirmed that the shooting that wounded her was connected to the homicide around the block on Thursday. I can assure you there'll be uh, closure in this case. We just promised mom and dad that we will close this case in short fashion. And we have another triple shooting to tell you about. This one about a half a mile away from where we are. It took place at 440 this morning. Police tell us that three men were shot inside of a building near Claremont Park. Two of the three men, who we are told are 28 and 34, suffered life-threatening injuries. The other man, I'm told, suffered non-life-threatening injuries. So far, police have not yet made any arrests in that shooting. Dan and Tashani, back to you. Robert, thank you.